Hi there, welcome back again to the Richard Lander School Fitness Suite. My name is Mr. Bridger and this is the next instalment in the Get Fit with Mr. Bridger 15 minute high intensity interval training workout. And this one is a Winter Olympic special. Um, what we've got is 15 30 second exercises. We're going to do all of them once, uh, then we'll have a 30 second rest, and then we'll do all 15 again with a little bit higher intensity. The first time round is a warm up, the second time round we're working really, really hard if possible. Make sure you've got some water, make sure you've got the correct footwear on, make sure you've got clothes that you're happy exercising in, and make sure the space around you is safe. You may want to have a small mat for this, there will be a little bit of work on the floor, and each exercise is related, ambiguously somewhat sometimes, to a winter Olympic sport. So, have a look around you if you're ready, I'm ready. If the space around you is ready, and you've taken on some water, then this is your opportunity to join in with me. Please work at your own speed. If anything is too difficult, then feel free to slow it down. If anything's too easy, feel free to speed it up. And of course, if it hurts at all, then make sure you stop. Um, if you need a stretch first, make sure you've had a good stretch. And here we go in five seconds. The first one we're gonna do is cross country skiing, and these are spotty dogs. In three, two, one, let's cross country ski. So remember this first time round really is a warm up. You've got five seconds left and then we're going to do some speed skating. Here we go. One side, then the other side. Speed skate. If you can, try and do a heel flip with your back leg and that will extend the quadricep really good especially in a warm up. And make sure those arms go side to side so we can start to warm up that upper body as well. Three, two, one, curling. And there you have the lunge. Same on the other side. There's our lunge. So loosely linked to curling. Here we have our alternate lunges. Five seconds left. And we're gonna move on to mogul skiing. So here we go. Twist bounces. Your shoulders go one way, and your hips and feet go the other. So this is the skiing when they're going over those crazy bumps really fast. Really quick turns. You've got five seconds left. And then we're going to do some ski jumping. Three, two, one. Ski jumping. We sweep the floor and then fly. Sweep the floor, fly. Sweep the floor, fly. Three, two, one. If you've got a mat, use it. If you've got nice thick carpet, then feel free to lie on that. This is the luge. Leg raise here, and just get your legs off the floor. Gosh, these guys travel at some speed down the mountain. All you've got to do is try and keep your legs off the floor, both of them. Not a lot more than sort of head height when your head's off the floor. So we're going to turn this round in a second and lie on our front, turn it into a skeleton. Keep those legs up, if you keep your legs straight as well, that would be great. And in five, four, three, two, one, turn it over. This time the skeleton, we're going front and try and lift your shoulders. As high off the floor as you can. Also, try and lift your feet off the floor. 
and just try and stay there. Ten seconds left. Really try and stretch yourself. Feet and shoulders way off the floor. Three, two, one. We're going to move into the big air contest now. We start facing one way, and all we're going to do is a 180 degree turn and land the other way. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. This is figure skating now. On one foot, and we do a little lunge and touch it. Another one, a single leg squat whoo, and touch it. It takes a lot of balance to get it right. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. This is the bobsleigh. Start the bobsleigh as a sprint. We're just going to sprint. Try and get those knees up high. Remember a split second at the top can be a split second at the bottom. Five seconds left, four, three, two, one. Now in the biathlon, you do the cross country ski and then you get down on the floor for some shooting. So this is burpees. From up high to down low. Five seconds left, four, three, two, one. Well done, alpine skiing. They spend a lot of time in this squat position. So all we got to do is stay there. Feet just beyond shoulder width apart. And try and get your butt somewhere in line with your knees. Keep your chin up if you can. And looking forward in that sort of tuck position to keep you aerodynamic. We've got five, four, three, two, one. If you need a mat now, feel free to grab it. Because again, we're looking at the skeleton and these are elbow planks. So on your elbows, chin up, back straight. Really good exercise for the core. Three, two, one, and up you come. Figure skating now, and again this is all about balance in a sort of squat position. So my feet are out turn, and my hands are out the side here. Whew. Kind of position a figure skater might find themselves in when they're turning around in a circle with their partner. Really good workout for the glutes, and the groin area, and good for the core also. And finally, we're going to go for some freestyle skiing. And that is star jumps. In 10 seconds, you get a 30 second rest. And then we're going to do the whole thing again with a little bit more intensity. Five, four, three, two, one, you've got 30 seconds to rest. So as I mentioned, each exercise of the 15 is ambiguously linked to a uh, Winter Olympic sport. Second time round now, we're going to work with a little bit more intensity. Make sure if you need water, you take on water. And this time, with a little bit more vigour and effort. We've got five seconds left. We start with cross country skiing. Spotty dogs, let's go. If 
you can go faster than me, go faster than me. If you need to go slower, go slower. You've got three seconds, two, one, speed skating, side to side. Okay, next up, we're going to do some curling, alternate leg lunges. Try and get that back knee down, almost to the floor, but not quite touching it. Three, two, one. Curling right here. Try and get that back leg as low to the floor as you can. Ten seconds left. How many lunges can you get in? Three, two, one. Mobile skiing. Top half goes one way, bottom half goes the other. Five seconds left. Ski jumping coming up, sweep the floor and jump. Three, two, one, sweep the floor and jump. Make sure you get all the way down to the floor and sweep it. Three, two, one. For this one you might need a mat. And this is the luge, a leg raise. So on your back, and keep those legs up. In 15 seconds we're gonna turn this over to a skeleton, so we're on our front with our shoulders and legs raised. Five, four, three, two, one. Take yourself over so that you're on your front. And this time, this is the skeleton. Shoulders up and feet up. Ten seconds left. Keep that chin up high. Three, two, one. Big air, twist jumps. Start facing one way, and I turn 180 degrees in my jump. Try to keep a flex of the knees as you twist. And three, two, one. Figure skating. Good for balance and core strength. Lunge on one or squat, should I say, on one leg. And try and touch the toe of it. Down nice and slow. Up nice and slowly. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, bobsleigh. This is a sprint as fast as you can go. Try and get those knees up nice and high. And as always, if you can go faster than me, I encourage you to do so. Five seconds left. Then we've got burpees. Three, two, one. This is the biathlon. Got to get yourself down on the floor and back up. Five 
Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Alpine skiing. Squat position, hands out in front. Try and keep your chin up and hold that squat. At this point, I hope you've begun to get a sweat on. And you can feel those real major muscle groups working hard. Especially in the squat, the glutes and the hamstrings are working hard. Three, two, one. You might want a mat for this. We go back to the skeleton, but this time it's in a plank position on our elbows. Try and keep your back straight. Three, two, one, up you come. Figure skating now. Quite a deep squat with your feet out turned and arms out to the side. If you want to make it slightly more difficult for yourself and work the shoulders, feel free to add wings. We're going to finish in about eight seconds with our freestyle skiing star jumps. Three, two, one. And really go for it now. How many star jumps can you get? There's only 25 seconds left. So don't hold back. Don't keep it in the tank. Keep on working hard. Come on, keep working hard. 10 seconds left. How many star jumps can you get in? Five. Four, three, two, one, and there you have it. A 15 minute high intensity workout, loosely and somewhat ambiguously, based on the Winter Olympics. I hope you've worked hard. I've certainly worked hard. I've really got a sweat on, and I'm gonna be sure to take on some water. If you've enjoyed these exercises, and I hope you can see the benefit of doing regular high intensity interval training. The great thing is you can do this at home, you can do it in the garden, you can do it in a very small space. You can also in the winter keep out of the cold and do it inside and that's really important so that over the winter you keep a kind of fitness program going. If you've enjoyed this one then have a look on YouTube, have a look on the Richard Lander School Facebook page and you'll see that there are dozens other Mr Bridger high intensity interval training workouts. Some designed specifically for the core, some designed specifically for cardiovascular fitness, some designed for strength, some designed for muscular endurance. It's totally up to you and try and vary your exercises as much as you can. Don't just do the same one day after day. Get on the internet, have a search and really enjoy your exercise. Keep fit, keep healthy, keep safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.